What are some scenes that you just couldn't believe you got away with on network television? Some scenes that, uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll say the, the, the pilot, just, just them letting us have a, a character that that doesn't talk all the time. And, and you know, that, that was, I remember when we were pitching, one of the people involved in our pitch process, uh, you know, said, well, you maybe could get away with not really talking for a cold open, but maybe not even, you know, they wouldn't even allow that much. So, so yeah, that, but that was the plan. Like, I don't know, we're, you know, let's, and, and thank God they were, were very supportive of, of what we wanted to try to do. And, and, uh, you know, so that, that's a, a big thing. Uh, you know, it's interesting also what you're not allowed to do. It's, you know, I, that, that is an example of what, what is something we were able to do. The, the stuff like the sex scenes with no movement. It's, it's, you know, it's pretty bonkers when you look at some of the, the more violent stuff on TV and you, you see just how rigid the restrictions are on anything that seems like sex, uh, it's, it's pretty bonkers. It's, it's actually maddening. <laughs> We've been dealing with the situation, and, and it's, maddening is a good word for it. So it's, it's been interesting to see the response when, when the, you know, this guy that you make so sympathetic in the beginning kind of turns and, you know, you see the other sides of uh, the personality, but you know that's that's most people are have many different sides to them, and you know in a heightened situation like this, uh, you know who, know who knows what would happen. You know the trickiest thing is is uh, is trying to because we we hope that we you know you never know when you lose somebody it can can they gain sympathy for Phil again. And you know, uh, without telling you to ha where the story goes, like we 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 certainly don't want you to hate this person with all your guts, and we hope to you know win him back at, at some point. But you just have no idea what where that that switch is, where where you know the point of no return. So so uh, you know, it, it's been interesting to really proud of the the, the well the the show in general, but but those first couple episodes there's something really special about them and, and it, you know if there's one thing I could change it would be spending a little more time uh, um, in that uh, in that world if you know I would say you know more time with just Phil alone then more time with just Phil and Carol a little more time with with just the three and then and then uh, you know because there's once you get these people, there's no going back. Unless you kill somebody off. <laughs> but everyone's so nice, I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> so, so Kristen Schaal is a pretty funny actress. Um, what has oh, been some of the, the most best. fun things to do with her, like in types of scenes? Man, it's, it's all fun with Kristen. She's, she is so incredible. Um, and the, the, the further we go into the season, she, she is asked to flex some uh, some acting muscles that I mean she, you know it's, she's always been an incredibly wonderful comedic actress but but like her acting chops are really good too and she's asked to do such a uh, to, to still convey this interesting character that we've asked her to do and then mix it with some very real emotion and she's it's an, kind of an impossible task that we've asked her to do and she's just does it perfectly so with that I'm excited for people to see that and those have been fun scenes to do but just everything like every day with her is is like magic you know she's she's always just so vibrant and and it just brings this energy to the set, so I love it. I love doing the, the like this the, the scene where I've eaten all our tomatoes and we get the face to face scene. That's really fun to get right up close. <laughs> the sex scenes are pretty fun to do with her too. But she, you know, just uh, 
uh, comedy wise. <laughs> for, uh, role obviously for for January than what most people think of her has. How did she yeah. sort of come on your radar uh, for this when you were thinking about that role? Well, she, you know, I uh, met her back at Saturday Night Live. She hosted the show while I was there, and uh, you know, other than that, I I don't know, haven't known too much about her except mm-hmm. for Mad Men. Although I did know her Instagram, and she's so she's really really funny, and uh, you know, and then when she came, we we were having a hard time casting that role and we had been looking around at a lot of people and she came in at the very end it was like uh the day we were going to make the decision or the day before or something like that and i didn't know what to expect it but but it was like yeah let's let's see and she just came in and and was great and so so you know it was uh, very quickly it was great because then the you know the studio and the network was very excited about it and and uh and so that was that was wonderful and she's she's really really funny in person, you know. It's it's uh, I'm excited that she's a part of the show, and I think she's having a fun time because it's so different than the stuff that that she's done. So it's been been very fun. So there's some scenes that you had a hard time getting through without someone cracking up. You can stick to stuff we've already seen, so you don't spoil anything. Well, I do not break. I, I never. That is, I pride myself in it. I've never broken at SNL, never at the Groundlings. I'm, I am, it's the one thing I know that I can do. <laughs> it's like I'm very uh, self-conscious about everything else, but I cannot be broken. And I'm having that sex scene with Kristen, she, it, I broke a number of times. <laughs> it's unbreakable. She was, she's so funny and it's right here in my face and it was just, it kind of made me realize what what Wig must have been going through in the MacGruber sex scene. With some, you know, dude sweating on top of her. Not that Kristen was sweating, but like, you know, just yelling right at her face. Uh, I feel I owe a special apology to Kristen Wig. There was one time when when it was there was a scene with with Mel Rodriguez, Kristen Shaw. January and myself and I forget what it was but something made Mel laugh in this it was almost like a like a seal just this <laughs> and that that got us all laughing and then that made him laugh even more so for like 45 seconds it was just this constant us laughing at him and him just going <laughs> So hard to, I have it on video somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's the best. He is the greatest too. I got a chance to to meet him when I did uh, the uh, neighborhood watch, well, the watch, and uh, he was he was Chucho and I was Sergeant Pressman. We worked together, so all of our scenes were together, and he is just like his character in this show, just the sweetest, nicest person. Um, and just like you, you can't, you just fall in love with this guy. He's the the best, and, and it was really fun. He he had a baby uh, a couple months ago. He and his wife uh, while we were making the show. So so there were a couple days where we were waiting, but his wife was in labor forever. Um, and then he came back in. It was this. The, he was had not had sleep in like three days, and and. Uh, it was really fun yeah. to get to yell at him to get his lines down. Like, <laughs> no, no, I know you just had a baby. Come on, get it together. <laughs> He's, he is such a delight. So we should say that we have.